Hi. What we're going to be showing you today is how to install the Vanos filter kit on the E46 M3. Uh, this level one kit uh, comprises of a Vanos filter and two O-rings, a small O-ring and a large O-ring. What you will need as far as tools is a 22 millimeter socket and a small flathead screwdriver. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to access the Vanos cartridge filter, we'll need to remove this Vanos plug right here. We recommend you wait until the engine has cooled down sufficiently and also because we'll be working with part of the oiling system. As you can see, I have uh, placed a shop towel underneath the area we'll be working on in order to keep oil from spilling anywhere else on the engine. To begin, first take the 22 millimeter socket, place it over the pexlet here, and begin to loosen. And at this point you can start to remove it by hand. Take it out nice and slow. Make sure you don't spill too much oil. And there it is. As you can see, this is the Vanos cartridge filter which we will be replacing. And notice the grit that the oil has left behind on a vehicle that has been regularly serviced. And this is a common cause for Vanos system failures in the E46 M3s. You might, you might want to use a pair of needle nose pliers to remove the filter cartridge. I got the base. And pull off. After you remove the filter cartridge, use the small flathead screwdriver to remove the o ring seal. In order to remove the small o ring, Try with your small flathead screwdriver. It'll slide off or break such as this one did. In order to replace the two O-rings and the filter, we'll start from the top and work our way down. Let's not damage anything uh, while we work our way up. First, take the large O-ring, slip it over. Use a small screwdriver. Make sure it seats in place. Take the second O ring, the small O ring, slip it over. So use a screwdriver to seat it into place. it into place, that's what it will look like. Now you take the new Venus filter, and there are two sides to it, a large entrance and a small. The small entrance slips right onto the end of this piece, and you're finished. Before reinstalling, make sure you lubricate both O-rings freely, that's not bind. Slip the unit back into the Venus. You can thread it in by hand to a certain point. After which you will use your 22 millimeter socket. Add it the rest of the way. Nice firm push. Once the Venus unit is in the system, remove the shop rag and you're all done.